Welcome to Winning Secret TV. God's help in times of trouble. Incidentally, the name of this channel has been changed to Winning Secret TV. We just changed its name from Positive Thinking TV to Winning Secret TV, but all of our content remains the same. Thank you very much. All right. God's help in times of trouble. The Bible tells us I Psalms 46 verse 1. That God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. God knows from the onset, that there shall come a time in our lives. That challenges or trouble will rear up their ugly hands on us. Hence he, therefore, foretold us and assured us of his help when the time comes. Troubles are not the making of God. And at times they come as testing or trial of our faith. But the good news is that. God has promised to be with us and to see us through. Out of every such situation. God assures us of his help in times of trouble. Though, we know of a truth that God. Is not the author of troubles nor did he plan troubles for us, his children. We also understand, that as long as we live in this present age. There will be times of challenges. God knows this and has offered to help us when it comes. Trouble or challenges are part of life. And existence in this present age. It could come in the form of, persecution, accusations, deprivation, unmet desires or expectations, afflictions of the devil, temptations to sin, disappointment, offense by hitherto loved ones, disappointment from a trusted fellow, gang ups and frame ups by some desperate, and unscrupulous elements, health challenges, lack of money to meet up with financial obligations, etc. In whichever form it comes. The good news is that. We have been assured of divine help and assistance from God. This assurance should be a source of courage, motivation, and strength. For us to face every of life's challenges with equanimity. In the word of the Lord, he says, This thing I have told you so that when they come you remember that I have told you. In another parlance, he is saying that to be forewarned is to be forearmed. God knows that there shall be challenges. And he also knows, what shall be the outcome with his help. Hence, he informs us beforehand, giving us the assurance of his help. This should encourage us and help us not to falter when the time comes. Instead, we maintain good attitudes in the face of any seeming troubles. Knowing very well that, we are not in it alone. That God is there with us, to help us, to deliver us. And to establish us better and stronger. It is against this backdrop that the Lord Jesus enjoined us. In John chapter 16 verse 33. To be of good cheers, not be offended or get disorganized in the face of seeming trouble. Instead, we should show confidence, courage and bravery. This should be anchored on the fact that God our helper. Has overcome the world and the troubles thereof. See it in, John chapter 16 verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So, whenever we see any contrary situation. To our redemption packages or troubles, as some may call it. We should treat it with the understanding that. It is not as real as it might have postured or portends to be. We should treat it as a conquered or a concluded matter in our favor. Knowing very well that Christ has conquered the world. And has given us the power for victory over the troubles of life. We should always remember what the Lord has instructed. And therefore maintain our peace and be of good courage. Knowing very well, that he has overcome the world. And that he did not overcome the world for himself alone. But for us, it is his victory that has earned us everlasting victory over the devil. Who is the author of troubles? When we are equipped and guided by this knowledge, and understanding. All we need do is to align ourselves by faith into his already won victory. As we continue to show faith and trust in this victory. Only then, will we be able to claim or appropriate the victory to ourselves. The Lord Jesus explained this. In John chapter 1 verse 12. When he says, it is only as many that receive or believe in him. That he gives the power to become the sons of God. In other words, to enjoy or benefit from his victories. 
and his sacrifice that has brought life and dignity back to humanity after the fall. You have, therefore, got to receive him and or accept his accomplishments. To be helped by God. This means, that for us to enjoy his one victory. It has to be by our faith and belief in his accomplished work. This knowledge of Christ's victory over the devils who is the author of troubles should always be our confidence when we face any contrary situations. Whenever we are met with any troubles we should maintain the right attitudes. Not given to fretting and being disorganized. We should know that ultimately, victory is going to be ours in the end. In James chapter 5 verse 13, the Bible asks us to pray, as a panacea in such a time. Or when we are afflicted, Affliction is also a kind of trouble. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Prayer of help is what is needed in the time of troubles. Calling upon God for help. And he will gladly come to your rescue. For it was him that says call upon me and will answer you. In Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. He says to call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know. Many problems last because we did not ask for God's help through prayer. Prayer is powerful, especially the prayer of faith. When we seek the help of God, in any raging issues through prayer, God answers and rescues us. He is ready and willing to help if we call on Him. God wants us to approach Him for help and assistance on any issues or concerns. In James chapter 4 verse 2 to 3, the Bible attributed not getting help from God when we prayed to 1. Asking amiss or 2. Sin. It says, Ye lust, and have not, ye kill, and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight in war, yet ye have not because ye ask not. Ye ask, and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Here the Bible exposes that, the only thing that could hinder our receiving of help from God, when we ask is wrongful asking or praying amiss. Therefore, for constant access to God's help, in the time of trouble, we have got to ask. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Ask right, Bible says we should come to God with a true heart. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. And concerning the question of sin, the Bible urged repentance. And you can see this. In Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. With all of the above, nothing can deny us divine help. God says in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 to 4, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Verse 3. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity, your lips have spoken lies, your tongue hath muttered perverseness. Verse 4. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth, they trust in vanity, and speak lies, they conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. It simply means that sin is the only factor that could deny us divine help from God. God is always willing and ever available to help when we ask. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you because you hear us always as we prayed. Forgive us of our sins and iniquities and cause our prayers to continually elicit immediate answers from you. Help us always when troubles show up in our ways. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, 
winning secret TV, to not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We love you.